Hi, welcome to Fix Until Broken. Uh, in this video, I'll tear down an E1000 Linksys from Cisco. Uh, this is uh, something that Linksys made, but it was right when they were acquired by Cisco. So Cisco kept the exact same thing and put their little badge on it. Uh, this is version one of the hardware. Um, they sold uh, several different versions of this that looked exactly the same. Uh, so this is version 1. Uh, I also have a version 2. Um, and the only difference is I think there's CPUs maybe a little faster, maybe just a little bit more RAM. Um, but they're exactly the same box. They look the same. It just has a V2 up here. Um, this does run um, OpenWRT. Um, but it's only 10100 networking ports, so it's not really that useful anymore. Um, also, it's got a great warning sticker. Tampering with or disassembling this device voids the warranty. Well, that's too bad. Uh, we do have one roadblock, though. Is it has a torque screw with a hole in the middle. So those are the security screws. Um, I don't have that, but I do have one of these. Let's see if we can just, I don't know, just start cutting at it. Get the Dremel out if they want me to, but at some point it's going to start breaking. Okay, it's a little more violent than it needs to be. Let me get my other screwdriver out too. This is what I... This is a good way to hurt yourself. like that. Okay. And let's see. So what we have in here, Broadcom, Broadcom, Winbond. And some potted Ethernet chips. A couple of antennas. These are all internal antennas. And they have this um, fairly strange design. Let's see if this thing will focus. Got just a little zigzag on it. Uh, There's one thing with this is the range wasn't that great. So those little dinky antennas probably not causing anybody any grief. So there's not much to this thing. Uh, there's a little cap here. Let's pop that off. I don't know what the point of having that covered is unless there's some kind of interference caused. Okay. Yep, that's the uh, WPS button that was on the front. Yeah, these were pretty good routers. Um, I got this one used off of Amazon for, I think it was $15. And that was probably five years ago. I'm not sure when it was manufactured, but I bought two of them. This one and the version 2.1. And when I bought them, they didn't say anything about them being different versions. So I guess you get what you get. Okay, well, this is uh, Fix Until Broken. Uh, thanks for watching.